Uh, as far as I know, they were heading towards a ceasefire. Uh, and we hope that uh, this happens because uh, I repeat again, Afghanistan is a great tragedy. For 40 years, people of Afghanistan have suffered uh, through conflict. And so what we're hoping is now uh, the Taliban uh, American talks succeed uh, and with the new uh, government in power of Afghan government, again, of course, President Ghani being uh, re-elected. We hope that now there's some sort of a peace agreement, which is uh, ap uh, apart from the people of Afghanistan, the next country that is desperate for that peace agreement is Pakistan, because it opens up uh, opportunities for trading right up in Central Asia. It becomes uh, an economic corridor for us. Uh, trading between, if the, 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 the more peace returns to Afghanistan, the more people in, in especially in our KP, uh, the adjoining province to Afghanistan will benefit. Mm. So, um, as, as I said, we are praying that uh, this works out. This, well, Pakistan has uh, done its, uh, played its part in the peace talks. We've encouraged the peace talks. And secondly, also, we have, uh, 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 you know, there was a hostage situation. So Pakistan played its part in uh, uh, getting the, there were three Western hostages, which, or two, which were released. So we, we are doing our best. And whatever influence, because remember, there are 2.7 million Afghan refugees in Pakistan. So whatever uh, part we can play, because of still the uh, refugees, and whatever linkages Pakistan has with the Taliban. Because remember, Pakistan was the government that had recognized the Taliban government, uh, which was there till 2001. So, so we will do our best. We live in a tough neighborhood. We have issues, uh, balancing act, because um, we have, for instance, Saudi Arabia, which is one of Pakistan's greatest friends, always been a friend in need for us. Then we have Iran, which is a neighbor and we have always had good relationship with Iran. So the, the, the conflict between Saudi Arabia and uh, Iran is something which, uh, which for, for Pakistan would be disastrous if it, uh, if it uh, went into some sort of a military conflict. So, so we are trying our best to make sure that uh, these two, uh, mm -hmm. one neighbor and one friend, do not, uh, uh, things do not, deteriorate amongst them. Things do not actually lead to a conflict. And as it is, this region cannot afford another conflict. The other is Afghanistan. Pakistan is doing its best for peace in Afghanistan. Afghanistan is one country which has suffered in the last 40 years. And just purely on a humanitarian basis, apart from Afghanistan being our neighbor, uh, we pray for this uh, peace still to take place between the Taliban and the Americans and the Afghan government. So finally, the, there would be peace there. For a start, our security situation has now improved. Pakistan has, uh, you know, been the safest since, since 2004. You know, really problems in Pakistan started after 2004 when we joined the war on terrorism and so Pakistan came in the eye of the storm and we lost a lot of people, 70,000 Pakistanis died in this war. But now this is the safest year after 2004. So we are heading now towards uh, security in this country. And that's why, as it is, tourism doubled in Pakistan last year. So as it is, because of the secure environment, we are having a lot of tourists. We have, we have, we are opening up Pakistan for tourism. We have, uh, uh, for 70 countries, we have decided to give them visa on the airport. So it's a big change in Pakistan. We, have, we are really opening up our country for tourism. Pakistan is actually one of the most undiscovered uh, uh, tourist, tourism paradise of the world. There's, our northern areas, are, if, you, if people like mountain tourism, I think there is no, the most unique place in the world uh, as far as mountain tourism go other northern areas.